as of today, California has officially opened back up. <laughs> Look at that. I was so happy I actually broke the applause button. Oh. I am though, at last we can find we can at last we can sit on our couches and binge watch Netflix knowing we could leave the house if we wanted to. <laughs> now, even though California has lifted state mandates, CBS, not the CBS you just watched before this in New York. <laughs> <laughs> I know that that probably feels like it's the same. You know the show you just saw with like 700 people all like chanting? <laughs> CBS and union protocols still require distancing and masks right here. Yeah. Woo! We don't know. What, why is this, Nick? What's the, what's the vibe here? Well, I just do what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> James what happened Corey. then? What happened? What happened? You lost the power. Lost you may have lost your power. Mine is at 11, buddy. Yeah. Please continue. The bass is not important for this. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Have we lost power on the bass? Yeah, but who cares? No, hey, I care. It's summer. Let's see. Nothing. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe you need to slap it like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what that is? Yeah. I actually came down earlier today. To unplug me? Uh, well, no. It might be uh, electric. I might have got the strings too wet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, there it is. Yeah. It, might be a, a short. it might be an electrical default. Yeah, a little short. A few of us here, when you're not here, we just jam down. Yeah. Kaylee's on drums. <laughs> yeah, look, you can see she's a natural drummer. Look how she drums. I think that's... Nico, how was your weekend? It was, it was a good weekend. We were, uh, we're, we were at the beach all weekend. Were you? Yeah. I guess that's the only place you can get any real privacy now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a very restful and peaceful time at the beach, yeah. And then on Sunday, the, uh, the podcast that I was uh, a guest on was, uh, was released, which yeah. was really fun for, for me and, like, three other people. <laughs> it, it, just so you know, it wasn't. <laughs> Nick's job as Senior Vice President of Late Night at CBS, he did a two-hour podcast about Late Night without mentioning James Corden or CBS. <laughs> it's Context. amazing. Who got a mention? It was Fallon? Conan a lot. Co it was all Conan. Leno got Leno, in there. SNL. Letterman, SNL. Carson. Car Johnny Carson got in there. In Living Color. In Living in Color. In Living Color. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I am literally sweating <laughs> wow. through this entire outfit that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> oh, mean. dear. So when's part two out, Nick? It's out on... Said no one. <laughs> <laughs> America wants, nay demands, the news. You want to try one more? <laughs> Think you can get it? Well, I mean, 50-50, yeah. <laughs> America wants, nay demands, the news. Nice. The big summit between President Biden and Vladimir Putin uh, happened, and right away, people were noticing the difference in body language during the pre-meeting photo op. Look at that. <laughs> It looks like they're in the middle of divorce proceedings and the judge was like, why don't we all take a picture? <laughs> the summit apparently went well, but in their press conferences afterwards, it was obvious the two leaders hold very different world views. Have a look. The tone of the entire meetings, I guess it was a total of four hours, was, 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 was good, positive. There is no happiness in life. There's only... <laughs> A mirage of it on the horizon. <laughs> what? I'm guessing this is probably why Putin isn't asked to speak at a lot of graduations. <laughs> Imagine that. You were born with one foot in the grave. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Here's my thing, though. 
Is he wrong? <laughs> Pete, is he wrong? Tough and then you die. Life is tough and then you die. Fins down. <laughs> and did everybody see this? According to a new study, listening to music before bed can disrupt your sleep because you could end up getting catchy songs stuck in your head. The study used three songs, Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen and Don't Stop Believing by Journey, which I just do not see as fair in any way. They said the study was about listening to music, not listening to just absolute freaking bangers. <laughs> Nobody in the history of the world has ever been like, oh, well, I'm tired, I'm going to turn in. I'll just put on Don't Stop Believing before I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, should we... Oh, turn that... Let me turn that light off. I'm going to... I'm done. I'm done. Turn the light off and I'm going to go to bed, yeah. We just put on Whoop, There It Is by the <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, I've got a special trick that I've started using to help, because I've been struggling getting to sleep recently. I don't know why. It's a lot of stuff in my mind. I've got an amazing new trick. I listen to any podcast with Nick Bernstein <laughs> and I am... <laughs> 15 seconds. All I, I get to the K of Conan and I am out like a <laughs> Big news out west is the sweltering heat. California, Nevada, Utah and Arizona are all experiencing heat waves right now, with Death Valley, California, even hitting 129 degrees today. Yeah, 120... Look, it's called Death Valley. It's not called nice, beautiful day to play Frisbee Valley, you know? <laughs> But my mum must have, my mum saw this news story. She called me. She was like, are you staying cool? Are you hydrating? <laughs> it's 129 degrees in Death Valley. And I was like, mum, I don't even know where Death Valley is. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I thought it was near you. Did you hear? Bev's getting divorced again. <laughs> <laughs> the weekend's coming up. Guys, Father's Day. <laughs> Father's Day. <laughs> Sunday. Yeah? <laughs> Father's Day which means millions of dads are going to be taken out to brunch by the most important people in their lives, even though they'd much rather they all go and the dad can just stay home and play FIFA on their Xbox. <laughs> Ian, what kind of gift are we splashing out this year on Ivan? Come on, you got the money rolling in now? He, I can't say what I got him this year because he watches the show, but traditionally, the more the book is about war, the more he's going to like it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just the, it's as long as people were killed in the name of something and there's a black and white picture on the cover of somebody having a bad time, he's in. I didn't realize how similar Ivan was to Louis Weymouth. Yeah. You know, all Louis did at my wedding was walk up to people and go, what's your favorite war? <laughs> you know what I asked for my Father's Day? Uh, Jules, my wife, said, well, is there anything you want, anything you need? I said, all I need is a few hours on Sunday, just to catch up on part two of Nick's podcast interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want. Just two hours alone. Just listen, just to, to really drink in the whole thing in. But this, it's out now, right, Nick? It is out now. It's you out, know and it. you, you do... Uh, Kate, big surprise. You do mention the show, and you're very, very lovely about all of us. Thanks. So, Why is that a surprise? You. Sorry? Why well, it shouldn't be a surprise that I say lovely things about you. I love this show, and I used to... I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I, used to I used to think we were very close, and then I've been ripped to shreds oh. over and over again on this show. Don't and now do I this. Wonder. Don't start trying to make yourself out to be some kind of victim down here. <laughs> There is no other workplace where the more you're roasted, the more you're loved. I, I think that's true, and I really do appreciate it. Most <laughs> of the time.